Some people wonder why they can't have faith for healing. They feed their body three hot meals a day, and their spirit one cold snack a week. You don't have to beg God, you just have to act upon His word. A spiritual law that few recognize is that our confession rules us. It is what we confess with our lips that really dominates our inner being. We must know what the benefits of Calvary are before we can appropriate them by faith. Seeing only what God says will produce an increased faith. This will make it easier to believe than to doubt. The evidences for faith are so much stronger than those for doubting. And Jesus went forth, and saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Matthew 14 verse 13 to 14 When your eyes are upon your symptoms and your mind is occupied with them more than with God's word, you have in the ground the wrong kind of seed for the harvest that you desire. The ground seeds of doubt. You are trying to raise one kind of crop from another kind of seed. It is impossible to sow tares and reap wheat. Your symptoms may point you to death, but God's word points you to life, and you cannot look in these opposite directions at the same time. Faith for the appropriation of God's promised blessings is the result of knowing and acting on God's word. Romans 10 verse 17 Let not God's word depart from thine eyes, keep it in the midst of thine heart, that is, look steadfastly and continuously and only at the evidence God gives for your faith. If you want to receive life and healing from God, Take time to find the words of scripture that promise these results. When we steadfastly believe and act our faith in God's word, nothing can keep the power in the word from making all things to become exactly as the word says. The right mental attitude, or the renewed mind, Romans 12 verse 2, makes steadfast faith possible to all. Continue to believe that God gave you what you asked for when you prayed, thanking and praising Him for what He has given, and it will always materialize. Believe your beliefs and doubt your doubts. Praying for healing with the faith destroying words, if it be thy will, is not planting the seed, it is destroying the seed. The Father nature of God must long for man to return to the security and simple faith of pure fellowship with Him, taking His word as fact that can be fully trusted. Your success and usefulness in the world is going to be measured by your confession and by the tenacity with which you hold fast that confession under all circumstances. Real faith rejoices in the promise of God as if it saw the deliverance and was enjoying it. Everyone that looked at the brazen serpent, the type of Christ, lived. And their faces were not ashamed, says the psalmist. They were all, humanly speaking, incurable. But they were both forgiven and healed by looking. I have seen faith rise mountain high when the truth of God's present love and compassion begins to dawn upon the minds and hearts of the people. It is not what God can do, but what we know He yearns to do, that inspires faith. God would rather have us doubt his ability than his willingness. When we have learned the process of faith for receiving healing, we have learned how to receive everything else God promises us in his word. The sacrifice of praise and the giving of thanks is continually done in the faith realm. This is before our blessings have been changed into their visible form. There is no doctrine more clearly taught than that it is God's will to heal all who have need of healing, and that they may fulfill the number of their days according to his promise.